Accuracy got. I like the spite as well. A little bit of edge about him in there. Would you? You need that. Yep. And the fact that he was never in any hurry. He knew if I don't get him out this time, I'll get him out next time. Foster's getting ready to step in here because nobody wants to see Butlin get hurt. Body shots coming in, he's all over the place here, and that's it. The towel comes in. Howard Foster says that's enough. Howard Foster, it's been okay. You're dealing with a fighter's pride. He wants to put up a show, but uh, the, the night had caved in on him. You're not going to go overboard, as you say. He's not going to go out and win a world title tomorrow. We're not looking at another Lomachenko here or anything like that, but everything that you're asking him to do, everything you're hoping to see from him, you're seeing. Yeah, and then credit to Butlin. As oh, lunges in, you've got to credit his bravery, but he's getting a pounding in there, and that's that. No, it's been stopped. All over. More of the same was coming, but yeah, it was it was ruthless. So efficient. There's that knockdown once again. Three. To wind up the punches. So it was just this you know, turning out to be a real painful night for Kischek, which was only going to become more and more painful. So glad it didn't go. Oh, right hand. Again, Darts did well to take that. Darts is struggling. He's in trouble. And there is an argument that's to enough. say that's enough, and it is. Because Darts wasn't going to go easy. The right time to get him out of there. And it was pretty obvious. Now that was it. You could see him all over the place. I mean, it wasn't just that punch. He's holding his ear as if the ear's gone, but now, no, he's moved it away and he's not getting up. He had no interest. His head scrambled. He says, there's a little bit of damage there. Yeah, that was a good shot. Well, he was critical of himself last time, Anthony Joshua. Surely there's nothing not to like about that performance. Guard up there as Joshua Dark. Oh, that right hand up the cut. Bang. In the middle of combination, kind of got he got my leg to bend down the way he did right there with the overhand shot first, and then set him up for the uppercut.
Joshua looked to land the right hand, but he's taking his time and measuring it up, and that right hand did the damage. He just waited. See, that was a kind of glancing blow. That seemed to come off the shoulder, and then the, the shorter right hand to follow up was a shorter jolting right hand. Inside two rounds for Joshua, who takes his time, measures him up again, scums all over the place. Steve Gray says that's it. From the Watford man. Oh, oh that's the one. Didn't miss that time. Took everything, didn't it? One big right hand. See, it was on the way to the floor. So, I mean, at this stage, it doesn't matter greatly. But uh, you have to really be careful of that. So down he goes, and well, he did well to take that. And still be in there. Full credit to him. And it gets another one. The towel's coming. And he got absolutely slaughtered with a left hand. And as you say, no one's going no to argue with this stoppage. I, Richard, done what he could do. A special talent in the heavyweight division. And Wilde backed off, was thinking about what he wanted to do, and that was a beautiful... Trying to tag him back, but again, just too sharp and too powerful from Joshua, who's slicing into ribbons here. And Ian John Lewis might have a job to do, because backed off is so brave, he's standing up to this, but he is getting pounded, and Ian John Lewis did absolutely the right thing. Well, I thought he was stopping it. He should be and he will, it. and he has. through and he's wobbled he's shaken by that and Joshua straight on him and sprouts in big trouble here Joshua just teeing off Is that and Tiro Connor right? says that will do it right there for Michael Sprott to take bang that's the one that's the job finished job's finished Didn't miss that time. One, two. And down he goes One, again. Left hand again. Two, He's going to give it a go again. Eight. But this is this is getting ugly here, and it's waved off. It's done. Well, we saw that in his last fight, I think, Jim. That and, and you know he was asked about it afterwards, and he more or less just swatted it away with with a shrug. Of the fighter he once was, and a right hand lays him out beautifully. Counts it eight. No. This is done and dusted. It is his sixth second round win. Nothing wrong with keeping him busy, though. No, definitely not. I mean, you know, you've got to. Joshua going to work once again. Johnson survived. Yeah, all Joshua all. looking to just blitz him out of there. Inside a round, there goes the bell, and Johnson is finished. Punches he's taken there. Well, that reputation for durability is well, well deserved. But how much longer can this go on? And it's stopped. It's over. Done. Inside two rounds. King Pin just got bowled over. Anthony Joshua right now. Yep, I agree with that, Nick. Yep, I mean we don't want to see him overstretched. But uh, we certainly do want to see him in a, a match that is least competitive. Ah, 
Joshua looking very sharp. Very nails it with a right hand. Little bit, he felt that one. And then bang, overcame the right hand. Joshua looking to measure him up. Could this be gone in the first? He's caught him with another right hand. And Cornish is in desperate trouble already. I was knocking him onto his heels. I mean, look at the power and, and the jab there. Trying just to, to survive the crisis. But down the way, that was from the accumulation of the punches. When he got back up, his legs were unsteady. And there was no point allowing it to continue. The, the writing was on the wall by that time. Obviously, the round where he hooked oh, the shot. Got him. Finally got him. Is this the breakthrough? White not going to hold on. This time he is holding him like he did in round one. Rocked by that big right hand. Joshua looking to size him up. Gets another right hand through. White looking to try and hold. Lands a right hand of his own. Terrific response again from White. He's in shape. I tell you, to get through all this stuff, he's in shape. Incredible that White is still there. Joshua not letting him off the hook. Howard Foster having a close look now. But as long as White returns fire once in a while. Which he is doing. Foster but look at the legs. There's a grin from White, but the legs are betraying him, and down he goes. He's hurt. He's hurt. Surely, down. surely no way up here. Oh, okay. Let's have another look at the finish. It was clinical. It was a shot that, it was a right hand from the side, as opposed to the one, two straight right hand, so that kind of surprised White. Yeah, they caught him in the temple as well, and quite often that's the punch. The toughest guys you've ever seen get caught there, and it scrambles their brains. But you see, it's, a, it's an unorthodox shot. Usually the right hand comes straight. He throws it from around the side. And it kind of shocked White, he didn't see it coming. Yeah, but that's a, that, the same punch in the jaw, it might drop you if it doesn't, you can recover from it quickly. But the, the side of the head there, yep. no, it just scrambles your brains and you don't recover from it. And he never got the chance to recover from it. Yep. Full credit the way he coped with it, he grabbed hold, he ducked, he dived. Then when the time was right, he tried to throw back. But by that point, in an exhausting fight, I think it had been knocked out of him. And there's the finisher, terrific uppercut. You knew there was no way back from that. Yeah, you could tell the way he went down. He, he was lifeless. Right in front of us as well. It was a wicked shot to finish with. A lot of pent-up frustration in that uppercut. And it just destroyed Dylan White. Yeah, the power, the strength, the energy, when he finally fully got and topped, poured it on. Terrific finish from Joshua. Full credit, we're giving a lot of credit to White. Obviously, he deserves it. But we've got to give it to Joshua. He's the man who came out and top, did what had to be done. Well, it's so good to see Joshua winning tough rather than winning easy, isn't it? We've had the easy wins. We've enjoyed the, the highlight reel knockouts. He really had to dig in here against an opponent who wanted it just as much as he did. That Fighter that gets his rhythm and then can be dangerous later on in the rounds. Started picking him off and then just got to keep your head moving off the line so when he throws you can slip and counter. So he, he just kept on walking into a backhand as the rounds went on. Um, he was good though, he's fit because as he got knocked down. Rocks the head back and then Joshua goes to work and puts it on the floor. Everybody on their feet. Brazil fighting for his life now and he's down again. And it's all over. Howard Foster's rounded up. He's got nothing load up early on in the fight when his opponent was still fresh and against a certain guy who can move their head well those shots will never land but against the opponent he had tonight Brazil is, is a basically a punch perfect performance it's not really he not much really he did wrong there no there's nothing you go back and fault is there I mean no. he just I mean you could look at it as saying well you weren't going to get this fellow out of there with one punch Ja, ei taaskord tundus, et mingi tabamus läks. Molina ei taha absoluutselt enam boksida. Ja siit ära, Molina ei tohiks tõuste. Kirjalt peale. Ja nii ruttu see käiski.
You're not landing that one again. What a right hand! I think doing it if you feel it. To